a very special car, fully murdered out. And what I mean by that is it just looks super stealthy, aggressive, all the moves that we use all the time because just look at this here, 2019, 69 registration, BMW X5, 30D M Sport with thousands and thousands of pounds of extras. The car is nothing short of stunning, absolutely perfect. Now this is a new model X5, so you've got the new grills, the new interior, the new exterior, but the M Sport gives you a cracking specification anywhere. That's the M Sport bumpers, the interior, side skirts, everything. But then this one's got some added extras just to enhance the way it looks. So I normally find that customers will go and buy a car like this, a nice black sapphire metallic X5, and then go and add everything on. But when you're adding these bits on, it can cost thousands, literally. So from the front, you've got the big kidney grills finished in jet black, the BMW LED lights with the LED daytime running lights, front rear parking sensors, it's a big car, it's needed, but just to improve that a bit more, this car has full 360 view camera system. That's a camera in the front, cameras in the side, and a camera in the back. Being the M Sport, you have the M Sport bumpers. You've then got things like the full colour coded arch kits. And then that takes me on to the first biggest extra, which is the 22 inch upgraded genuine alloy wheels, again finished in gloss black, with the brake calipers finished in blue. The air breathers finished in black. And then that takes me on to the performance kit. Now, this car's got a full carbon fibre performance kit on it, and this is not cheap, starting off with a carbon fibre ring mirror. And then you've got this full extended flared out side skirt, which goes below the original side skirt with the lip on the edges. And that's full carbon fiber. It's not carbon fiber effect, nothing like that. But then you've got the black window surrounds, the sun protection glass, the high gloss black roof rails. The new G model interiors are absolutely stunning. It's fabulous. Ambient lighting, touchscreen media system full leather interior, electric seats, and then this one has the tech pack, so you've got the Harman Kardon sound system, heads up display, which I'll show you in a few more seconds. And if you look up, another massive extra sky lounge, which is the tilt and sliding panoramic roof, but it also has a pixelated lighting in there, so if you have the blue lights or the purple lights or the green in here, the lights on the sunroof will also glow the same, same color. The extended lever is on the door card, so it's nice and warm and feels very rich. With regards, the rear passengers, they get the same treatment with a full lever, three point seat belts, centre armrest comes down, the ambient lighting, fully fitted mats front and rear, and again you've got the extra speakers because it's a, the Harman Kardon's in this one. But then look at the rear end of this car, it's very, very special, it's just tons of carbon. So first of all, this first piece here is a standard M Sport rear spoiler, but then you have this huge bit of a whale tail going on, all carbon fibre, Center piece here, carbon fiber, and this full rear diffuser, which again, like the side skirt, lips round with the F1 style slats down there. Carbon fiber, but again, it looks mega. So from the back, it just looks super mean, sporty SUV diesel. Now, I've left this on purposely. I mentioned at the start of the video, this is a 30D, it's not an M50D, but the way this car's been designed and the way it looks, it pulls it off as an M50D. It doesn't mean a great deal to most of us. If you were the person buying this car and you wanted this car, but you don't want them badges for whatever reason, I can quite easily get them taken off. So please don't let that sort of deter you away from the vehicle because it doesn't mean anything. Just some people want to advertise a car some of that it isn't. You've got 40, 40, 20 split seats. Split tailgate as well, and then you also got more cubby hole space underneath, and that's a good space on its own for whatever you're going to use it for, if it's wellies or blankets or anything else. First aid kit, the tonneau cover which hides all your valuables. So if you have got laptops in there or anything else, great. Use the key or press the button to close it. LED style rear lighting system, LED rear indicators. But for me, styling is key because, like anything in life, you have to, aesthetically, it has to look good. It has to be pleasing on the eye. If this is the type of car that you can see yourself driving in or driving about in, then it should tick all the boxes. If you're not into the black cars or the black wheels and the carbon fiber, then you can move on to the next video. But this is, for me, about as good as it gets. Electric seats, electric windows, mirrors, memory seats as well, and electric falling mirrors. I mentioned already about the heads up display. Massive thing to have, because when you're ordering new cars today, which you have to wait six months or 12 months, if you do get them at all, you'll start to notice that some of the new cars are missing a few bits on them because they can't get them. They can't put the chips together for the Harman Kardon or heads up or something about the car just isn't quite there. And they'll give you a million reasons why it's not there. But this has got everything, it's, it's perfect. Paddle shift, 
Bluetooth controls, stereo controls, the full digital professional display unit here with the navigation bang in the middle. The reversing camera system is super crisp. The definition is brilliant. You can pick which car you want to look at. If it's that, 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 or even the front, make sure there's nothing there, or back even. You've also got the reverse and assistant pack. So when you press that, let's say you've parked into a spot and you want to get back out of that parking spot, but you think it's quite difficult because it's quite tight. It memorizes the way you drove into it. You press that, you let go of the steering wheel, it'll completely drive you out of that parking space, which is phenomenal. It's, I've done another short video, which you'll find somewhere. Heated seat, dual zone climate control, twin cup holders, more space down here. Now this is a big thing. I get asked all the time when I'm selling cars and buying cars, has it got air suspension? For every 10 X5s that, that is available, I'd say only two have air suspension. I don't really know which one does and which one doesn't, as in why, why they don't all have them, but they don't. I've sold some absolute belters from here, M50Ds as well, fully loaded, but they, they haven't got air suspension, but they've sold just normal cars, X5s, and it has it, now this one's fully loaded, and it has got air suspension, so that is a big thing. Obviously, your different drive um, um, sort of modes, you've got sport, comfort, eco, adaptive as well. The car's brilliant. Like I said, spec-wise, it's got everything, literally. But for me, it's the way it looks. If you look at all the ones that are available, because of the thousands and thousands that have been added onto this car, you can't really compare this to a standard one. So if you have seen one and it looks very similar, but it hasn't got the carbon body kit, it hasn't got the heads-up display, the 22-inch alloys, the Sky Lounge, it's not the same car. So please, when you come at me with, oh, well, I've seen the same car elsewhere, well, you haven't, because I've done our homework. We're very, very particular about what we sell, the service history, but most importantly, the condition as well. It's not all about the price, it's the, the service and the quality of the product. This is a fabulous car. My name's Joe. My name and number's on the bottom of the screen. Give me a call, drop me a text or WhatsApp. I'll be more than happy to help you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.